Final exams. We clutched. It's 2-1 on the scoreboard versus us against the principal. Now, what's the important stuff that happened? Terasaka clutched, bro. Terasaka and the goons. They <laughs> figured out a loophole. Home egg, they aced it. Actually phenomenal. It's great to see Terasaka and the gang just like, you know, do their own thing. Asano and Karma both got a grim reminder. I think it's like set up, right? It's set up for like the matches that actually matters because as the principal said, <laughs> all according to my plan, you know, this is first turn bullshit. It's only going to make these kids want to grind even harder. Like same thing with Karma. Karma like kind of fucked around. He scored decent, but not to the degree that was needed to, you know, be rank one. So Karma had a rude awakening. Same with Asano, but I'm sure they'll figure it out and they'll be back better than ever. Um, what else is happening? That's pretty much it. And we're getting into a new arc. That's right. We're going to an island. We're going to a resort field trip arc. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, no. Oh, it's the evil, evil mascot Kunodon. Ugh. Asama. That's actually so funny because it's like kids' voice. The students with the best grades at, you know, the school will be entitled to a fantastic privilege. And then this is where the audience says, yay. But in kid voice, they say such a, a such a, like a highly, like specific term, like, yay, vested interest. Ooh, luxury. Okinawa. <laughs> Official passports. You know, the Kunedon like skits are actually so peak. All paid. I don't want to study here. Sheer debauchery. You mad? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot to upload some shit. For uh, 19th. Whoops. All right. Here we go. Island time. Beetles. CGI Beetles. People love beetle fighting. That's yeah, like a kid's hobby, right? The boys. You gonna try to bribe the girls? <laughs> you wanna see some sexy ladies in bikinis and buy them? I see. We're gonna sell the Beatles for money. <laughs> Studying, apparently. Oh. Mm, I don't remember her. Who? Kuru Kurahashi. I guess a new character. I think this is the character that I mentioned who last episode too. There was like another guy as well. Kurahashi seems kind of important. You too? Uh oh. The market's been flooded with shitty products. Price went down. How do you know this? I... Still firmly believe this. If you need money to compel a girl or a guy to go out with your date you, that's already fraudulent. 100% fraudulent. You should be able to do it without money. If that's a person that actually cares about you deeply. Alright. Beetle farming. She knows living creatures. Biology textbook. She's pretty crafty. Okajima. Okajima? Okajima Giga. Giga Okajima. Ten bill? Ten billion yen? You mean fucking sensei? Okajima's going for the kill. That's a lot of porno mags. What the hell are you? K Cup? Do you see this? K Cup fan. Oh my god. And he's dressed up as a beetle. His entire body is actually pink. Usually when he's down bad, like his facial changes, right? 
His face color changes, but the rest of his body is still yellow. His entire body is pink right now. Bro is literally gooning. <laughs> Honestly, pretty smart. It worked. Jacob. He thinks that no one will see him if he's dressed up as a beetle. Why is this soundtrack playing? This piano sentimental soundtrack is supposed to play during like a great lesson learned in a heartfelt moment. But what the fuck are we talking about right now? Childhood dreams. Please dispose of recycles responsibly as per your local council's arrangements. <laughs> Goon Squad. Yeah? Found it where? What? Wait, we look at the comments. Hold on. Okay. A miss. Photos a hit. He's just been researching. Wow. Uh, bit sense to help him? Karasuma, I can't imagine. Lukashim have a big bro? Who did this for you? Okachima prep time though, one month of prep time. Hype soundtrack now! <laughs> just show people. Again, anime clips just out of context. This single frame, bro, this is going crazy. He did! Nice, Okajima! The soundtrack is so hype. Ero no Yaiba. I don't know his eyes could do that. Did he sense us? Is that his boner? He's not erect, right? A beetle. Super rare? Kurahashi just ruined the plan. This could have been the 10 billion yen plan set up, bro. One month of Okajima research just gone down the drain. <laughs> no, fuck it. Just still do it. <laughs> fuck it. Still, it's cut the rope, bro. Get Kurahashi up in there. It is. Also, the pornos. Yeah, what about this? How embarrassing, sensei. Oh, he knew there was a trap. Never mind. He played into it. Of course he knew. Damn. Very rare. Did you? Oh, it's pretty much an albino, uh, albino stack. I thought it was his boner. She's very playful. What the hell happened to Okajima just now? How did you fall? Whatever. Come on, let's go to the island. Beat Sensei. Ooh, new outfit. She don't care. We're just gonna leech? Sensei! What the fuck, he's back. No days off. Basically, no more good assassins left. We only got really on kids. He is absent. That's right. But he's still gonna move so much faster than us. That's right. Tilt him. 
He's bribing us with treats. We really took the fucking ice cream after he promised. Please don't tell anybody. Yep, we're gonna take that shit and lie. One second. Gary kids. Nagisa should get the killing blow. Karma and Nagisa? Or who? Oh shit, the class shooter. I call him the class shooter because we never see his eyes. He just gives me weird vibes. But finally, he's like he's important. He's a sniper. Shiba Ryunosuke. Spatial calculations. He's a sniper. Another character too? Haimi Rinka. Alright. I mean, compared to you remember the red eye guy? Uh the the assassin that tried to kill Sensei in the Kyoto arc. Like, do you think that these kids are better than him? I mean, this time I guess we have this 70% loss, right? Because the tentacles are coming off. Everyone's pretty competent. What's he gonna ask? <laughs> the glaze. <laughs> the fucking glaze, bro, for Nagisa. It's like you. You are the best assassin. Yeah. And who is that? Is that you? His real name. Namely? The Reaper! Whoa! Yo, they're hyping this guy up! Who's the Shinigami? Where the fuck has he been? How is he not showing up to try to kill Koro-sensei just yet? Because it's a secret. It's a super secret. And if the government, I guess, doesn't contact, there's no point. We're gonna so, teach a special move? But Nagisa gonna get us new move? What is it? Now, there is a couple things that here made me think something else. Uh, basically the glaze, right? Nagisa is what? He is a very capable assassin because he doesn't seem to really care for himself. He seems to be like a blank template, have no hostility. He's like a silent... Nothing that just shows up and doesn't hesitate to kill like a serpent. But beyond that, beyond that is this frame here. He mentioned something about, wow, you're talented. And then there was one extra component. And then I see Bitch Sensei. And then I think to myself, who taught Bitch Sensei to dress up like this? Did he do it? Or did she, was she always like that? Because like in the opening reaction too, I mentioned... There is 100% going to be a time where Nagisa cross-dresses and uses the feminine charms to get in, right? 100%. I wonder if this guy was alluding to the moment like that because Bitch Sensei was also in the frame because, you know, she kind of does the same shit, right? Seduce, you know, dress up. Like, 100% they're setting that stuff, but I wonder if this is the moment. Who knows? <laughs> That's right, Fanboy Assassin. Luxury Yacht? Koro Sensei is seasick. Yo, another data point. He sucks on vehicles. Wait, 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 wait. Did he dodge that? Yeah, he kind of did. It looks like a fancy place. Hello. Wonder if the principal is showing up. Probably not. It's because it's Kuro Sensei. <laughs> Oh, Ritsu! I have no clue who that is. 
He's a guy that built these kind of planes or engines. What are we doing? More prep time? Wait a minute, did I just... Okay, this is fucking stupid. I, I, I see this oftentimes too, where like, they go in snorkeling, but like, bro, you're submerged underwater. You're gonna fucking drown! I know it's not supposed to be used right now, but quite often I see this shit in different TV shows or different media where they go underwater and the fucking thing is literally submerged. <laughs> Suntan. He turned to a fish. Yo, for the first time I saw his eyes. Kind of? No. No eyes. Alright, Terasaka Banga's time. It's pretty cool how we're entering a new arc and like more new characters are like entering the fray to build them up, right? There's these two who's supposed to be like really good at like sniping and then there's the other girl, right? The girl that was in the intro scene too that's like very aware of like different like, I don't know, biological informations. So I guess the- but the interesting thing is the turquoise green hair girl that's like always with Nagisa is not being ever mentioned, nor does she ever do anything. I guess she's like season 2 content. You want to like save like introducing all these really really important end game characters in the second half. Ooh, Bichi Sensei, oh my god, the Bichi on the beach! They don't want to see that. Are you trying to bewitch children? <laughs> Go somewhere else. Oh, oh, what the, what the, what the? What the? お前に聞いておきたい。Yes, did you prep something? What's your plan? Sounds like you're just lazy and you have no plan and you're just gonna wait for the kids to do something, then you'll like improvise and try to like, you know, kill steal. You really have a plan? We know it won't. He's not gonna get assassinated. Yeah. There's no way. Cancel Koro Sensei. We can't watch this show anymore. Blackface. I cannot believe Koro Sensei did blackface in the assassination classroom, guys. We can't watch this. Yeah, how does the teeth also get impacted? Yes, it's Kuro Sensei now. Exactly. <laughs> Is this the setup? Smart, smart. これも暗殺を前に気合いの乗った先生にとって船酔いなど。そんなに黒いですか？いや。That's but why would you do the once a month get out of free jail card right now? You should save it for later. Okay. And that's also a bait. They taunted Koro Sensei. They wanted to get rid of the get out of jail free card. I thought that. I'm sure Koro Sensei is very aware. I'm sure he's very aware. And I, I doubt that. I, I bet he's doing this on purpose. There's, there's no way he's falling for it. Yeah, like the assassination. He was nowhere. He just being dumb right now. There's no way. He's still pretty chill. All right. What is it happening? What, what? Okay, he's good seasick now. Tentacle time. Okay. Pretty encapsulated area. <laughs> 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 
kind of shirt is Okajima wearing? And cliffhanger. They're going to cliffhanger us. And that's today's episode of Ass Class. And unfortunate that all the good shit that we wanted to see was basically just, you know, cliffhanger. Because today was a setup episode. What are we setting up? The whole, you know, luxury resort arc, right? We're in this beast. The highest ranking students get to go on and we are there. There's also the promise that a seven tentacles that gets cut off and each tentacle is like minus 10% of Sensei's like overall mobility. So he's going to be at 30% occupy, uh, like uh, maximum force. And he got rid of the one month, uh, you know, get out of free jail car with the molt, right? So right now it's looking pretty good. He's debuffed by the seasickness. He's going to get the tentacles cut off, but let's get real. Does anyone here actually believe that Koro-sensei is gonna die? Brother, if he dies, then there isn't gonna be season 2. We still have how many episodes? Bro, we have fucking 31 more episodes, including this one. There is no fucking shot Koro-sensei dies here. It's also cool to see other characters be brought in to, like, the main roster. I forgot her name, but she's, like, you know, good at knowing, like, the information of Beatles and stuff. And we have, like, you know, the two shooters. The silent guy that never shows his eyes as well as another guy. They're slowly bringing in, you know, more of the characters to kind of build them up. So that's nice. But uh, even if we're 30% output, right? 30% of Mach 20, I think, is still enough to, you know, beat all these kids. They did a lot of prep time. They really, really prepare for this. But is it enough? Only one way to find out. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.